All right, let's kick off this lizard party with John Kerry. John Kerry is a US politician. He's a Democrat. It's about all I know or care about. I don't pay attention to politics, all right? I'm too busy covering the important issues, guys, ghosts, Mothman, today it's lizard people. I'm basically a real life Fox Mulder and uh, I'm pretty good at what I do. But you know what's not awesome? The cabal of lizard people trying to infiltrate our entire society. In this video from back in 2013, we see Kerry speaking with Congress, but try to see if you can spot something strange going on. Yeah, he keeps licking his lips. He does it over and over again. Now maybe he had some ice cream residue on his lip or, or his tongue was itchy and he was like itching his tongue by doing that or something. Maybe he was having a hard time keeping his true lizard form at bay though. Look at how fast his tongue moves too. It's not, it's not a sultry lip lick. You wouldn't be looking at someone across the club and like lick your lips like this. Nor should you do that ever probably. But this is, this is like a fast like I have, I have fly to catch kind of tongue flick, so I don't know. Is he a lizard man? Obviously, yes. Number nine, Justin Bieber. Politicians and famous people seem to be the main culprits when it comes to these elusive shape-shifting lizards. Makes sense. I mean, like, what better way to over turn society than by seeping your way into politics and pop culture, the circles that hold the most influence over society. Not the case for me, though. I don't pay attention to music. I'm too busy uncovering the real stuff, cryptids. Ghosts, you know the drill. I'm not gonna repeat myself over and over again. In this video we watch as Justin Bibbler's eyes seem to act up. Like, just take a look. So his eyes look normal, then he blinks, then when he opens his eyes back up, it looks like they're partially covered. A bit like certain lizard species who have the semi-translucent caps that cover their eyes, right? And it looks like uh, Bleeder just dropped the ball here. He just, his lizard eyes loose. They just let loose momentarily, and he thought nobody would notice, but we did. And now the secret is out. Back to your dank, dark, underground dwelling beaver. Next on the list is Nicki Minaj, another pop singer with secret ties to the land of the lizards. Now this happens very fast, so pay close attention. Put your portable telephone down, full screen me, lean in, and feast your eyes on this weirdness. Seems like Nicki Minaj was in the middle of an interview when suddenly her circular human looking pupil transforms into a vertical slit just for a brief moment. Pretty freaky stuff. If I'd been doing this interview and I saw that happen, I'd have a couple follow-up questions. I'd, I'd play it smart though. I wouldn't want the lizards getting a whiff of how onto them I really am. Like I wouldn't come right out and ask if she's a lizard person, but like, hey, are your eyes okay? Looks like they morphed. But I, I definitely don't think you're a lizard person at all though. I think that would be a smooth way of kind of broaching that subject and getting one step closer to the truth. Yeah, don't you? Anyway, it looks like Anaconda might be more of a personal song to her than we initially thought. Pardon me? What? What? There's no train tracks there, buddy! This is the wrong place to be! This is- there's no lights, there's no gate! That's hilarious. What? Like, what? How is that? How is that even happening? Is it because it was a kind of, kind of like a train museum over there and it was just kind of set up on fake train tracks and then just started rolling onto the highway? How does that even happen? That's absurd. That is absurd. You already have to watch out for people who can't drive on the highway. Now you have to watch out for a creepy train or a weird train? I don't understand. <gasps> Hello, little bear. What on earth? Oh, it keeps pausing. That's like reverse Goldilocks. Like this is our car now. Oh baby bears, I love them. Oh, it's so it, it's kind of sad though because if you did go outside, the mother bear would have torn you to shreds. But how did they? I guess now we know never to leave your car unlocked anywhere you go because now bears can apparently get in your car. I would have been even more impressed if they figured out how to close it too with their little paws, just like eh, close the door. Sometimes I wonder when I'm making these videos and my parents are proud of me. I'm just such a weirdo. Anyways. Huh? What? Wait, don't blur. 
hear it. What? 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 Wait, what? I'm rewatching it like a thousand times. Where did you come from? Did you come from the window? What? 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 Where did you? What? What? How did you get from there? To, what? I don't understand. That's wicked. Because it could be that he fell from the window, but it was like he almost fell from the. I don't understand. There are there are things that we just can't explain in this world. Wait. No, you're not. No, you're not. No. 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 You did. Ugh. Ugh. I hate that. I hate that. And honestly, that's probably not the only time it's ever been caught. People are gross. When I used to work downtown a lot of the time, I'd walk around and just like on the regs to see people pee in places they shouldn't be peeing. Because why not, I guess. You gotta go, you gotta go. But what, what? This is why you should wash your hands after you touch things, even without the pandemic. Wash your hands after you touch buttons and doorknobs because you have no idea what kind of idiots are gonna do things. Starting things off at number 10, we have The Purge. I think the more footage I see from ring doorbells, my fear of the dark has only intensified. Those things never seem to catch anything nice. There's a Reddit user who further made me want to never leave my house in the dark. The user that goes by the fabulous username of Fat and Depressed shared that between the hours of 12 a.m. and 4 a.m., he got four notifications on his phone that his doorbell had detected a visitor. Immediately upon seeing those, I would absolutely be unsettled. When he checked the doorbell's camera, the first three times, there was nothing. He went on to say that he was thinking it was some sort of stray dog or cat or animal of some kind setting off the motion sensor. That was until the fourth notification came along. This time when he checked the camera, a face showed up on the screen. He also posted a photo of said face and oh man, not what you want looking back at you at 4am. It looked like a guy in his 50s with a face that appeared to be painted white. It could have just been the night lighting on the camera, but his face was white. He also looked like he was wearing black eyeliner all the way around his eyes and he was standing with his hands behind his back. It seriously looked like a scene from The Purge. Number 9. Clowns Remember the creepy clown epidemic in like 2014 that had people dressing like clowns and making us all scared to leave our houses? Well, you can imagine the chilling security footage that came with that phase. One video in particular comes from none other than Jacksonville, Florida and whether it was a prank or not, I don't like the video regardless. The footage comes from a home security camera and it shows the porch of a house with an extremely creepy looking clown standing there looking at the camera. The clown is dressed in an all white clown jumpsuit, white face, and some clown makeup not suitable for a children's birthday party. For most of the video, the clown just stands there staring at the camera, only moving slightly to tilt his head further to the side. Then the clown decided to take the poor homeowner's pumpkin and start punching it quite aggressively, I have to say. I'm sure when they woke up and saw that video, they wished they never had. Without the security camera they would have just noticed their pumpkin smashed, but no, thanks to technology they got to watch a creepy clown stare into their eyes while doing it. I think if I saw this video on my porch, I would be moving out right away. Number 8. Where's the exit? User Dr. Beso on Reddit shared a story that just might send a shiver up your spine. He said that he worked as a doctor in a UK hospital and on a particularly quiet night shift, the nurses told him a story of another doctor at the hospital. The story went that the doctor was running to a crash call when a woman stopped him to asked which way the front entrance was. The doctor directed the woman and kept hustling to the patient. When he got there, he said it was the woman who had stopped him to ask for directions. The woman ended up not making it in the end, but they just had to check the security footage. The whole encounter was caught on the cameras, except the story told on the footage has a slight difference to the one the doctor shared. The camera showed him running, stop midway down the hall, and gesture to the exit while saying something. The only problem was, there was no woman on the video. I don't even know how you you could explain that one. I hope they gave that doctor a nice long weekend after that. Number seven, we have a reptilian standing behind a man being interviewed. This interview was taken at a sporting event of some kind. I have a feeling it's a baseball match, but I'm not sure. Do I watch sports? What do you think? Once again, guys, my expertise is in uncovering the truth within the world of the strange and bizarre. I don't have time to watch people throw, kick, punt, hit, 
balls into baskets. Suz Man is being interviewed about something I don't care about when suddenly we catch a glimpse of the man standing behind him. Man may be a bit of a stretch here. Lizard Man, far more likely. Just look at his eye. I've never seen a pupil like that in my entire life. It looks like it almost has a bit of a diamond kind of shape to it. Doesn't seem like a, a trick of the light or a glitch in the footage. As this isn't one of those cases like with Nicki Minaj or Justin Bieber where it just happens briefly. It just seems like this is the way this man's eye is. It's kind of cool, but I don't know. Can I trust someone with eyes, the eyes of a lizard? I don't think so. Next on the list, we have an alien security guard. All right, we're back to the world of politics now. This footage was taken at some kind of political event. Suffice to say, there were some high ups in the audience. Now we see a bunch of average looking dudes and one lady seated in the foreground. At first, you'd probably look at this image and think nothing of it, but Take a look at the weirdo in the background. Whatever this thing is, it does not look human. And no, it's not just that he's bald. Nothing wrong with being bald, all right? I think it's just his lack of years that gives me a bit of the willies. Look at him, it looks like he just has a hole where his ears should be. Now, if he suffered some kind of horrific incident or something like that, I'm very sorry and you are not a reptile, sir. But I don't know, he looks very snake-like to me. Actually, this dude, he's a dead ringer for Voldemort from the hit British book and film series, Harry Potter. Don't know if you've ever checked it out. It's kind of uncanny though, actually. Number five, the skin suit. In this clip shared on TikTok by aliens underscore and underscore cryptids, we see a man in an interview, possibly a news reporter, although I'm not 100% certain. Seems to be a normal everyday dude, but suddenly something weird happens to his face. Yeah, what the heck happened there? It's not even just his eyes that bug out and reel some reptilian version underneath. His face also seems to contort a bit, almost like rubber. Is this actually a lizard person wearing a skin suit that malfunctioned? Well, it certainly looks like it to me. And I may not know my sports or music or politics, but I do know about my aliens, my ghosts and ghouls and my lizard people. Not my lizard, I'm not a lizard person myself, but this guy is very likely a lizard in disguise. There's just no denying it, really. Number four, Shark Man. Now, I've talked a lot about lizard people on this list so far. In fact, that's been every point up until now. So what about the creatures that have come from deep within the darkest depths of the ocean to seep their way into the inner workings of our societal structure, the fish people. In this clip, we see Barack Obama greeting Lee Rosenberg. Who is Lee Rosenberg, you ask? He's a shark man. Looking closely at this clip, you can see that when Rosenberg smiles, his true shark form slightly rises to the surface, displaying a set of razor sharp shark chompers. I can almost hear the unnerving soundtrack to Jaws playing in my head as Obama walks to the podium to greet this underwater fiend. No, 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 no. The question is, is Barack truly chums with what he knows to be a shark man, or is he just chum? Next on the list, we have a clip from Dr. Phil. Now, I'm not saying that Dr. Phil is a reptilian. I mean, he could be, but there's no evidence of that. So it's, it's the guest I'm putting in the hot seat here. So just take a look at this woman's eyes. Do these look like your standard circular pupils to you? No, looks like we have the classic vertical slits going on here. Very unsettling stuff. I think Dr. Phil needs to switch gears and talk about the stuff that really matters. You know, he should be having people suspected of being reptilians on his show all the time from now on and just ask them the important questions. Let me get this straight. You tell me you're, you're not a reptilian? I think you need to zip your lip. It'd be so fun to watch. I want that show on TV. Next up, we have a reporter shape-shifting on live TV. Now, a lot of this list has been eye stuff. So let's talk about another big telltale sign that someone is a shapeshifter. Their skin, the fake disguise they're wearing to conceal their disgusting, monstrous lizard form underneath. This is Michael Brownlee, a reporter who seems to morph on live TV a little too often. We watch as his face begins to distort, almost like a scaly type of pattern begins to form on his face. In one clip, he even seems to uh, move out of frame and almost like he's in a slight panic, seemingly feeling his human disguise begin to slip away. If I were a reptilian, which I'm definitely not, once again, I would, I would have this guy come back down to the underground lizard society below and just practice staying in his human form. 
a bit better. Like, stop transforming on live television, Mike. Ruining it for all of us. Just hold it together, bud. And finally, we have the Antiques Roadshow Reptilian. Have I ever watched uh, Antiques Roadshow? My grandparents used to watch it. I heard it's a good show to fall asleep to. There just aren't enough demons and aliens in it for me, you know? Oh, but wait. Apparently there was in this episode. In this video, originally uploaded by follower of Yahushua, she spotted an odd-looking man in the background of one shot. He clearly has some very strange eyes and is just staring almost directly into the camera. He does seem to be very uh, intrigued by whatever antique they're looking at, though. He's like, kind of like, hmm, what's that? Maybe this reptilian just wanted to, like, do some antique shopping that day, find a set of old spoons or something, or this lizard man was on a mission to find an important relic. Something they could use to bring about the downfall of the human race. Caught on CCTV cameras. And number 10 is this first demon caught on CCTV. This eerie photograph from 2008 reveals something inexplicable. And it's not a Photoshop trick either. It's a real head scratcher. Neil Sandback, a photographer, was just doing his job snapping pictures for a couple planning their wedding in Hertzfordshire. But when he examined his digital shots, he found a puzzling figure. In the corner of the building, there was a glowing ghostly apparition of a younger human. What's unsettling is the level of detail. You can make out facial features, which oddly resemble more of a skull than a human face. Even more chilling, the farm staff had witnessed a similar figure, a young man in white nightclothes. Real or not, this one is a bone-chilling mystery. At number 9 is the man on CCTV. A car's dash cam captured something inexplicable. At around 2.30 in the morning, as the car cruised down a desolate highway, a man in blue shorts and a white t-shirt seemed to uh, just appear out of thin air. The car then would go to pass right through him, and when the driver looked back, the mysterious figure had vanished into the night. It's like he just popped out of nowhere, materializing out of thin air from the ether itself. Was this a ghost? The skeptics argue it might be a shadowy illusion cast in front of the vehicle, but the truth remains as elusive as the apparition itself. If you're enjoying this video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. I personally would really appreciate it if you did. At number 8 is the Haunted Barbershop CCTV. This unsettling video from a just regular barbershop Things take a bizarre turn. You see, at first, it seems just like an ordinary day with someone getting a haircut and the staff going about their business. But then, something spine tingling happens. The barber's cape mysteriously moves on its own. It's the kind of moment that makes you wonder, did I really see that? So they decided to review the CCTV footage, and that's when the hair raising reality hits them. Watch closely as the blue cape shifts inexplicably. You might be asking when will someone notice, and they actually do, and their reaction is exactly what you'd expect. Now, here comes the most hair-raising part. This clip goes on to become even more disturbing, giving you the kind of creeps that make you question the boundaries of the known and unknown, leaving you lingering with that fleeting sense of eerie uncertainty. At number 7, Stolen Phone. This person shared a story that started as a stolen phone and ended in a creepy mystery. He said that they had to call the cops while his girlfriend's cell phone was stolen off the porch of their apartment. He explained that the apartment is a room sectioned off on the first floor of an old mansion with a fenced in porch. When the officer arrived, he asked to see the surveillance tapes and the maintenance man let them come along to help the cops with the timestamps to narrow down the footage. Unfortunately, they did not see the person who took his girlfriend's phone. That being said, right about the time they expected to see someone grab the phone, they did see a man. Apparently it was not a resident as there are only four and they all know each other in the building. The man appeared to be running frantically from something and at full force he entered the only door of the building and never left. Even after over 24 hours of footage, I would have simply left all my belongings behind and found a new apartment after that. Number 6, Out of Thin Air. As she shared on Reddit that he was one of the people going through footage from security cameras outside of Pulse nightclub before, during, and after the horrible tragedy that happened there in 2016. While I'm sure all of the footage was quite disturbing, he also claimed to have found something a little supernatural. He said there were so many sad and disturbing things to be seen. The strange one, however, was a wounded man that appeared out of nowhere. Apparently, the mystery man waved his hand 
cans for help and cops came over to carry him to safety. Etchie shared that he tried numerous times to rewind and find where the man came from, but he was either just there or he wasn't. He didn't crawl to where he ended up, he just appeared. I bet anything that he was sitting with that footage for ages, going back and forth, frame by frame, slowly driving himself crazy. I don't know how he ever stopped rewatching it. I think I would have just become consumed by the mystery of it all. At number 5, Frozen Footage. Reddit user TrueDenter shared a spooky work story that would make it even harder to get out of bed and head to work. He said that he worked at a place that required people to be there 24 hours a day. He was working the night shift and said the security on the building was pretty good. Bars on the window, multiple locked doors, the usual no one can get in without authorization setup. He said he was finishing up his shift when he heard a door close. After checking the cameras, he saw a person walking towards towards the room he was in. Thinking it was someone early for their shift, he waited, but when no one entered the room, the hairs on his neck started to rise. He said it not being a huge building, he would go and find the person from the tape. He came up empty handed, but noticed a fire door had shut. TrueDenter said he went to look back at the footage, but didn't have the password. He then said he sat with his spine tingling until the morning shift came in. He told his coworker what had happened, and he went home. When he asked them what they found on the footage, they said it showed the fire door closing, but then the video froze for about an hour. The next thing the camera caught was him reopening the door. Talk about shivers, I would never work the night shift alone again. At number 4, Injured Intruder. Just Stoic on Reddit shared the story of how she had no idea there was an intruder trying to break into her house until seeing the footage her home's camera caught of it happening. She said that she was living with her godparents at the time. Her godfather had returned from work at about 6pm and asked why there was blood near the pool in the backyard. Just Stoic said she'd been in in the room right next to the pool the whole time, so she had no idea what her godfather was on about. They both pulled up the security footage from the day, and sure enough, they figured out the answers. The footage showed a man jumping the fence in broad daylight, cutting himself on their barbed wire above the fence, and frantically looking for a way into the house through the back. The user said she had been maybe 10 feet from the intruder at one point and did not hear a thing. Scary to think what could have happened if a window had been left open. Dang, not even safe from people trying to break in with barbed wire around around your house. Number 3, Bike Be Gone. One Reddit user shared his scary security footage story and it's definitely a head scratcher. The user explained he used to have an apartment near his office building, which was kind of secluded from the rest of the city's commercial district. Anyway, he said that he sold his apartment and before moving, he left his bike chained to the building's bike rack. He figured the bike would be okay in what he called the no man's land for a few days. Then in the middle of the week one day, he came to the office and noticed that the bike rack was completely empty. Since his office was closed, he asked the IT guy to watch the security footage in order to catch the bike thief in action. The Reddit user said as he and the IT guy watched, they saw people leaving the office the night before, bike is still there, they kept watching and all of a sudden the bike was gone. He said we slowed the tape down and literally it was bike there and then poof, gone. The user then went on to say he assumed his bike got taken to the upside down. If that happened to me, I don't think I would ever sleep again knowing my bike just vanished into thin air. Number 2, School Prank or Poltergeist. There is a secondary school in Cork, Ireland called Deer Park Christian Brothers School. In October 2017, they released footage from a school security camera that caught some sort of ghost causing a ruckus in the hallway. The video shows a door being slammed open, lockers shaking, locker doors opening, and even the wet floor sign gets thrown around. The video was a viral hit earning coverage from a wide variety of outlets, with the school's deputy principal telling them he had no idea how things were moving in the video. Wolf said, We couldn't understand how this had occurred. If it's a prank, it's very well done. After watching the video myself, I'm not even sure how a person could have pulled off the video either. To point even more fingers to it being a ghost, the school is built on a site known as Green Gallows, where in the 19th century, criminals would go to be punished. And in the 19th century, they weren't just throwing them in cells. Was it a tech savvy student pulling a prank, or the angry spirit of a criminal? And at number 1, Ominous Elevator Ride. You may already know the story of the Cecil Hotel and Elisa Lamb, you may have already seen the scary footage of her right before her passing, and it's unsettling. Basically, guests at the hotel in Los Angeles complained of low water pressure in their rooms. This caused employees to head up to the roof and check out the water tank. Instead of finding faulty wiring or a broken pipe, they found the body of poor Elisa Lamb. She was a young woman traveling on her own. Police were obviously called to investigate, and what they found on the security tape is creepy. The footage she appeared in before the incident was from an elevator, and something was just not right about it all. In it, Lamb seemingly 
he speaks to someone, presses all the buttons, and peeks her head out almost as though looking for a person she was scared of. The video has been dissected by law enforcement and conspiracy theorists, but we still have no idea what really happened to Lam. The footage is really ominous and it only added more confusion as to how she ended up in that water tank. Number 10. Springfield Clowns You all remember how in 2016 there were clowns literally everywhere? They were just plaguing everywhere in the United States, and while some seemed like pranks, it seems like others used a clown costume to commit crimes. Regardless, it was scary and a time I'll never forget. Now for those of you who don't know, the sightings began earlier than this, with many reported in the US in 2014. One state hit especially hard was Florida, in particular the Springfield neighborhood in Jacksonville. Compilations of clowns captured on home security cameras reached the internet, with news outlets picking them up. The footage was everywhere. Then by mid-October 2016, clown sightings and attacks had been reported in nearly all US states, 9 out of 13 provinces and territories in Canada, and in 18 other countries. It's just scary and unnerving, and I can't imagine sitting at home and looking out the window at night and seeing a clown staring back at me. I honestly think I would cry. Number 9. Nanny Cam Ellen and Nathan Ridgely suddenly woke up to the sound of sexual language coming from their young son's room. Ellen said that her immediate reaction was that there was somebody in there, somebody's in my son's room. When the couple jumped out of bed and turned the light on, the monitor camera in their room, which was previously turned off, was activated. Someone hacked into it and the hacker, speaking through the camera, told the couple to turn the light off. When they didn't comply, he said, I'm going to your son, I'm in your son's room. The father ran upstairs to his son's room but found him safe and sound. That's when they realized that their cameras had been hacked and the hacker was bluffing. Now they immediately turned off their Wi Fi and called the police to report the incident. The family threw out their monitors and now use cameras that don't use Wi Fi. Nest, the monitor manufacturer, was also notified about the attack and they told NBC News that such attacks could happen if customers use passwords which were previously leaked due to a data breach. They did not not, however, confirm that this has been the cause of this specific attack, and the company advised all their customers to change their factory passwords to two factor authentication and, if they notice any suspicious behavior, to contact Nest directly. Number 8. The Masked Man Finding a masked man at your front door in the middle of the night can be pretty scary, but when that man returns to your home three times in one week, it's downright frightening, blogger for Ring explains. They said this because that's exactly what happened to a family in Milford, Connecticut. After just a couple days into their vacation, where they were more than a hundred miles away from their home, Ring alerted them that a masked man was at their front door. Though he couldn't break in, he returned a few days later. Now, despite the family sending the videos to police and local news stations, the man returned again. This time, however, he was arrested and thank God. But with someone that persistent, I feel like you have to give them some props. At number seven is the Manchester office security footage. Security guards casually scanning through through their surveillance screen on the early hours of November 1st were just minding their business, but then the mundane turns into a nightmarish roller coaster ride. You see, at precisely 3 a.m., the entire office undergoes a freakish transformation. All the computer's power go on simultaneously, casting an eerie blue glow. Then chairs begin to take flight, seemingly possessed by an invisible force. Cabinets swing open on their own, and the office paraphernalia dance like marionettes gone wild, a scene right out of a horror movie. Now, what's so peculiar about 3 a.m.? Well, some folks call it the witching hour. The boundary between our world and the supernatural realm sup supposedly weakens to a thin veil, allowing mischievous spirits to cross over. Could it be that these relentless entities chose this unholy hour to unleash their chaos on this unsuspecting office? The footage certainly raises more questions than it answers. Check it out for yourself. At number six is the Croatia found footage. A truly spine-tingling video from Croatia that will make you question the, the very fabric of reality as you know it. So when these two guys are just chilling, have a good time, they suddenly spot something bizarre in the distance. At first, they're just like, meh. What was that? And even laugh it off, but that's where it gets scary. This eerie figure starts getting closer and the dudes, well, I mean, 
they're strangely pretty chill. I mean, seriously, if I saw that thing, I'd be sprinting for the hills. The way it moves is just unnatural and disturbing, but hold on to your horses because it gets worse. When they finally make a run for it, the thing starts chasing them, standing upright like something out of a horror movie. And here's the kicker. The description claims that these guys vanished after this incident. Seriously, you'll want to check out the video and decide for yourself. At number five is the Ventura Bar. It's the dead of the night and chairs start sliding around by themselves. The bar manager shared this video on social media and it gave everybody the heebie-jeebies. Fast forward a few weeks and we've got more chair shenanigans, but this time it's broad daylight and people are watching in disbelief. Did somebody take off a vengeful spirit? That's one theory, and it's pretty eerie. But here's the kicker. This bar isn't your average watering hole. No, it's got a wall filled with pictures of every customer and employee who's passed away. Could this possibly be a ghostly reunion spot? And here in the video at 1 minute and 40 seconds, we might just be getting closer to discovering who these relentless spirits are. At number four is the chair out of thin air. Here we've got a spooky video showing a chair materializing out of nowhere. And that's just way more terrifying than just objects moving around. Could this chair possibly be from another dimension, or is there something more sinister going on? Take a look at this clip focusing on the middle desk around two minutes in. Between two minutes and two minutes and seven seconds, someone must have really ticked off a spirit or something. Now you might be thinking, maybe that chair was hiding in the shadows all along, but hold on, if somebody's under that desk, they would have pushed, pushed the chair against the wall, right? So how did it suddenly change direction and keep going? It's a head scratcher. Plus, this was filmed way after working hours, so unless somebody pulled an all-nighter under that desk just for this video, it seems like there's some spooky stuff going on in this office. And number three is the ghost alarm. Here's another intriguing clip coming from straight out of the ghost subreddit. This one was shared by user Reem Raman8, and the title simply says, quote, something set off the security footage on one of our properties. Nothing was stolen. This is the footage. Take a gander at the video and you might just be up for some chills. Upon first glance, it seems like there's nothing out of the ordinary. But as you look closely, there's actually a shadowy figure lurking in the background, almost as if it's walking through thin air. Now, I know it might be easy to dismiss this as just a camera glitch or something, but that eerie outline of a person is enough, should be enough to send shivers down your spine. Uh, the Reddit user mentioned that the front door mysteriously opened, triggering the security footage. Could it be the work of a malevolent spirit? Some speculate that the ghost's energy triggered the alarm and opened the door, creating that ghostly appearance on the video. What's your take, internet detectives? Is Could this be genuine evidence of another worldly entity crossing into our realm? Or is this just a trick of the light playing? Or is this just a trick of the light and dust playing with our imagination? The user did some follow-up a year later, reporting no other strange incidents and no local spirit activity. It might be a one-time haunting, but it's still pretty unsettling. What do you guys think? Share your thoughts down below. At number two, the water watches back. Back in 1924, aboard the SS Watertown, a bizarre and chilling incident occurred. You see two crewmen, James Courtney and Michael Mihan, met a tragic end while cleaning the oil tanker's cargo tank. Gas fumes claimed their lives in an instant, and they were given a burial at sea near the Mexican coast. But the horror didn't end there. You see, the very next day, a crew member claimed to have seen their faces in the waves. A, glass, a ghastly vision lasting a terrifying 10 seconds. This eerie spectacle repeated over several days. When the ship reached New Orleans, Captain Tracy, driven by the inexplicable events, decided to document it. He purchased a camera, and when those spectral faces emerged once again, he captured the hair-raising image you can now see here. Strangely, once this picture was photographed, all the sightings ceased. A spine-tingling tale of the unexplained phenomena that lingers in the annals of maritime history. And at number one is the Madonna of Bachelors Grove. 
No, not the Madonna of Pop, but a mysterious figure from the afterlife. The Ghost Research Society of America stumbled upon this eerie enigma back in 1991 at the Forsaken Bachelors Grove Cemetery. While Mary Huff took pictures with her infrared camera, everything seemed pretty mundane, but the real shocker came during the development process. In one frame, a woman perched on a tombstone clad in outdated attire, gazing into the abyss. Who was this woman? Well, nobody knows. Was this her own grave she pondered on or a loved one's? The chilling part is that no one ever saw this woman, yet there she was, captured forever in that still frame. A specter from the beyond. Pretty spooky, right? And we're kicking off this list with the ghost patient. In this security camera footage from a hospital in Argentina, we see a security guard sitting at his desk. It's late and there's nobody else in the foyer aside from the guard. At least that's what the way it looks to us. Uh, we watch as the automatic doors open, as if someone is entering into the hospital. Only there's nobody actually there or is there. The security guard seems to think there is because he gets up from his desk and walks over to check this invisible person in. We watch him talk to what looks like thin air before allowing whoever or whatever it is inside. The guard later said that he had seen a woman walk into the hospital. She said she'd left something in the room she'd been staying in. The staff were of course pretty creeped out by the footage, especially when it was discovered that the name he'd taken down when letting the invisible entity into the hospital was the same name as a woman who had died just the previous day. Coming in at number nine, we have Miss Abigail. In this footage taken in a building in Houston, Texas, we see a security guard once again having a conversation with what looks like thin air. His coworker watching the cameras is filming her screen, completely confused by what she's seeing. Then she radios in to the guard asking like who he's talking to. He responds by saying he's speaking with Miss Abigail, who's looking for Mr. Griffin. The coworker becomes even more confused now saying, you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? She died two years ago. She then goes on to say that there's nobody in the hallway with him. Suddenly it sinks in for the guard and he turns around and starts running down the hallway. Fair enough, that would probably be my reaction as well. Even if this is just a hoax, it's such a creepy idea. Imagine having what you think is just some innocuous conversation with somebody, only to be told, uh, hey bud, nobody there with you. I also have this haunting image in my mind of how this supposed supposed ghost looked once the guard was told he wasn't talking to anyone. Did Miss Abigail disappear? Or even creepier, and what I'm kind of picturing is that she just stood there completely still, like staring blankly at him until he ran away. Next on the list, we have the Poltergeist. In the security footage captured in a 200-year-old school in Cork Island called Deer Park CBS, we see a series of paranormal phenomena take place. First, a door at the end of the hallway seemingly opens on its own before violently slamming shut. Then a filing cabinet or, or locker starts rocking back and forth out of nowhere. One of the lockers opens up and papers start flying out on their own. A wet floor sign suddenly flips out. I don't know, it spins around and collapses. Whatever was causing this to happen was not in a good mood that night. Number seven, covering up a crime. In the early hours of August 13th, 2018, American oil field operator Chris Watts ended the life of his wife and two daughters. He buried his wife in a shallow grave near an oil storage facility and dumped his daughter's bodies into crude oil tanks. Now, Chris initially maintained his innocence in his family's disappearance, but was arrested on August 15th after confessing to ending the life of his wife in an interview with detectives. He also later admitted to ending the lives of his daughters too. Now, on November 6, 2018, 18, he pleaded guilty to multiple counts of first degree homicide as part of a plea deal with the death penalty and was sentenced to five life sentences without the possibility of parole, three to be served consecutively. Now, during the investigation, a neighbor showed Chris and a the police their CCTV footage, hoping they could see what happened to his wife and daughters. They watched the footage, and you can see Chris back his car into his driveway, and he can be seen loading a gas can into the bed of his truck. Next, the video shows Chris backing the vehicle into his home's garage. Now, investigators believe Chris used that very truck to transport the bodies of his family 
bodies to a remote oil work site where they were found days later. Prosecutors believe that Chris, after backing the truck into the garage, likely placed the three bodies in the bed before driving them to the oil work site. Now it's terrifying that no one knew this happened and that it was all practically recorded. Number six, Fresno night crawlers. I can't even think of an explanation for this, so be prepared to be puzzled. In 2007, Fresno homeowner Jose managed to capture footage of what looks like a pair of pants walking on their own. Like, no one is wearing them, just jeans strolling along his driveway. His dogs barked at these puzzling creatures as they passed by his home, as they should, but Jose only saw them after reviewing the footage. These beings baffled him as well as the investigators of the sci fi docuseries Fact or Fake Paranormal Files who deem the suspicious attacks unconfirmable. While there are doubters who believe that it's all a hoax, others think they are of alien origin. There has been speculation online that they're figures from Native American lore, but with little to support it, it seems like we'll never really know what was taking a midnight stroll that night. Number 5. Chicago Creeper Have you ever felt like someone was watching you? Jack McKensher and his girlfriend Jordan Baranxis didn't, so I'm glad they had security cameras installed. The couple ended up being terrified after going through the footage to settle an argument about a missing purse. Now they did find out where Jordan's purse had gone, but they found out something way worse. A man later named the Chicago Creeper or the Bucktown Burglar watched them as they watched TV and later went to sleep. He then slowly made his way around the house without waking them up or their dogs and managed to leave with Jordan's purse in hand. Now I can't imagine knowing someone was in your house while you were asleep. Thankfully only stealing the purse was the only thing the man did because it could have been way worse, so remember to always lock your doors. Number 4. The Lurking Man On July 31st, 2022, Jojo Ramirez was coming home with her son when a man followed them home. They enter the house and she could be heard telling him to take a shower and she locks the door. Right when she shuts the door, you can see a man appear, following behind them and trying to get into the house. Then she looks out the window to see the man standing there. He tries opening the door and looking through the window and it's just unsettling because he doesn't blink at all during the entire video. She then realizes the man is there and yells at him to get out of here. He then backs up and you can see more of his body and his hands are behind his back as it appears that he's trying to hide something, perhaps a weapon. She then contacted the police and they took care of it. She posted the video from her ring camera online and captioned the post, this happened to me on 831, be careful of your surroundings, luckily I locked the door before he attempted to open the door. Number 3. Dobby. Late one night in 2019, Colorado resident Vivian Gomez posted a video of a strange sight her home security camera captured. Internet users were quickly to point out that the creature has a passing resemblance to everyone's favorite house elf Dobby from the Harry Potter films, but it still didn't explain what it was. Now the leading theory is that the figure is Vivian's young son dancing with underwear on his head, and one outlet even enlisted him to recreate the footage and try to put the theory to bed. Her son though denies that it was him, so what was this creature? Personally, I don't think it's him because if you look at the footage, the creature is lanky and its knees bend funny. I don't think it's a human and I fear we'll never know what this creature is. Number 2. Calculated Attack Two thugs dressed in masks, hoodies, and gloves were caught on CCTV footage carrying a baseball bat and creeping up to a home on the New South Wales Central Coast at 4am on January 22nd, 2020. The two offenders scoped the property and approached the house from a concealed black door only accessible by rock steps through the thick bushland at the back of the house. Now the thieves woke a female resident in the house who walked down the hallway to turn on the outside lights to deter them. Instead, the two felons head behind the house and waited for her to leave back to her bedroom Room before sneaking around the back door. One of the burglars watched through the doorway while the other took a baseball bat and started smashing the glass door, causing the female homeowner to scream in horror. The man hit the glass nine times, breaking a small hole in the door and reaching his hand inside before both men fled the house. The female resident said that she was scared that the men were targeting her as she had been alone in the house for the previous two weeks while her partner was working out of town. Trent Southwell, director of private investigation from Team Safeguard, said the attack was carefully planned. It's not random, being the time in the morning, the way they've turned up, the way they've covered their faces with hoodies, the baseball bat, the backpack, there's a lot more intent there than just a random attack at a house that's already got cameras as well. Now that is just truly terrifying. And coming in at number 1, are you sure? Now this footage scares me to my core. It shows a man approaching a house and repeatedly knocking on the door while repeating, I just have a couple questions for you, are you sure? This goes on for 
for a couple minutes before a man responds over the ring doorbell. At this point, the footage turns all the more unsettling as the man at the door says he wants to take advantage and end the life of the woman inside the house. The footage was shared by Amanda Nowak of Las Vegas, and according to Amanda, she was inside the house during the entire encounter. The man never saw her and was never actually speaking directly to her during these tense three minutes, and thankfully the man has been arrested, but that doesn't make the footage any less unnerving. These the driver so of this far. car narrowly misses an airplane that failed to reach the desired oh altitude and God, lost that's... control. The pilot instructor and his student, who were occupying the plane, were not harmed. That almost looked animated. Man, I wonder if he saw it coming or was just kind of like arguing with the passenger, but that's terrifying. Has anybody ever seen like a plane come really, really close to the highway when they're on their way? Cause yeah, cause I live in Toronto and near Pearson airport, you drive a certain stretch down the highway and it looks like the planes are going to land on you, except in this case it was true. So that's terrifying. Whoa, whoa. What is he doing? Oh, oh. oh! Oh, I hope, ugh, I hope, I hope that's all I think it is. <gasps> that's so good. I was hoping that wasn't like, I don't know, the, the, the sink plumber, because sometimes with, um, or most times with restaurants, when you're behind the bar, there's a little grate where all the water drains through. And sometimes my old restaurant used to get blocked all the time and the, the whole restaurant would be flooded. I, so I thought that's what this was when I first watched it. I think it's a beer keg. That's a waste of beer, alcohol abuse. So rude, oh my goodness. Poor guy, but I love the way he's just like stumbling to the door. <laughs> that was good. I love how there's a balance of both comedy and horror. So this is great. Um. Sneaky guy. Wow. I love how he tried to cover up his actions by being like, oh, your yard sucks, man. No, that's, I hate people who do that. Like, don't be that person. Faith and humanity. Where is it? I don't even know. That's disappointing, but I love how he tried to cover it. I gotta applaud him though. It was pretty smooth. It was pretty on the dot when he was like, oh, oh can I uh, help you with your yard work? I'm kind of scared though. I'm glad it was, I'm glad it, as awful as that is, I'm glad it was he was trying to steal the box as opposed to a creepy guy. So here we go. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh. He doesn't even see it. Buddy, buddy, look behind you. Let me get it. Let me get it. Oh God. Don't you know? <laughs> oh my god. Don't you know you're supposed to turn your wheels up towards the hill so it doesn't... If it does roll back, it doesn't go all the way back. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Though that has happened to me once. Um, I think my mom's car was in the driveway and she didn't pull the emergency brake as far as she needed to. And uh, the car just started rolling back because we were walking to get groceries and all of a sudden we were just like, no, come back. That's great. That's happened to everyone at least once, I think. But still, they're just like, no, please don't. <sighs> Creepy music, we know it's gonna be me weird. Oh my god! Jeez. So rude. This is a real ghost. Oh man. Why did I get reminded of the librarian in Ghostbusters 1? Because it's almost exactly the same, except there's no creepy old lady being like, Whoa. 
Oh, what a mean ghost though. I feel like half the time you spend as a ghost, you're like, ooh, look guys, I'm just gonna flip this DVD over. It's gonna scare the out of them. See, effortless, but they're terrified. Excellent. Like, why does he wanna make this guy's job harder? But, oh man, that's so creepy. The first time it was pushed, that was, that really got me. You saw, you saw my face. No, enough. Oh my god. Okay, I was just looking for a dog fighter. Whoa. Don't have to get all like that and stuff, honey. Jeez, that scares me so much. Oh my god. This is why I double check my doors every single night I go to bed because you never know who's out there. Just saying. Oof. Number seven, the hospital ghost. This is a story that was posted to Reddit by user Dr. Bassio. Goes as follows. I work as a doctor in a hospital in the UK and was on a night shift that was particularly quiet. Some of the nurses were sitting around telling this story. A young doctor was running to a crash call. Our hospital is a giant L shape with the front entrance being at the bend. A woman stopped him and asked him which way the exit was. He directed her and kept running. When he got to the patient, it was the woman who had asked him for directions. She had died. Apparently it got caught on the CCTV that the doctor stopped running midway down the hallway and gestured toward the exit while saying something to no one in particular. So supposedly, the confused spirit of this patient who had just died spoke to the doctor who was racing over to save her life. Pretty spooky stuff. And hey, if there's any place where paranormal stuff like this is gonna take place, it's gotta be a hospital. At number six, we have one that's pretty similar to the Miss Abigail video. This footage was originally uploaded to TikTok by the security guard in the video, Louis D'Alvarez, who took it down soon after, utterly traumatized by the entire event. He was working as a night guard and was alone patrolling a floor he was on when he spotted an old lady. We watch as he walks over to who he believes is a person, although we can't see anyone but him in the footage. He begins talking to what he later described as an old lady who was saying she was lost. But another guard tells him over his walkie talkie that there's nobody there. He's the only one on the floor. The guard was waiting for the elevator, but decided to just leg it out of there as fast as he could. We cut to another angle and he's like running through the parking lot and then just out of the building completely. Ran halfway across the city, I'm sure. Number five, night shift. Oh boy, working alone at night in a big empty building. Just the thought of that sends shivers down my spine. In this story posted to Reddit by True Denter, they describe their encounter with a man who seemingly disappeared into thin air. I used to work at a place which was required to be manned 24 hours a day. Anyways, security is kind of tight. Bars on windows, multiple locked doors to get to where I am. They would give me work to do during the night, but underestimated how how quickly I could get it done. So now it's getting to be the last third of my shift when all of a sudden I hear a door close. I look at the security camera and see someone walking down a hall towards my room. First I thought it was just somebody that came in ridiculously early. So I turn around and wait for them to come in, but nobody came in and the hairs start rising on my back. Now this isn't a really big building, so I figure I'll, I'll find the guy wherever he is. I start checking offices and storage rooms but come up empty handed. However, I do see that a fire door had shut. I go to try and rewind the camera, but the digital recording is password protected and I don't know the password. Anyways, the whole thing freaked me out. The way the person was walking down the hallway, like a determined walk right to where I was. So I sit with my spine tingling for the last couple hours of my shift and finally people start coming in. My replacement shows up and I tell her what I saw and at this point, I figure I must have imagined the whole thing. I'm told to go home and the manager and the girl who replaced me would look over the camera. After getting home, I call my manager and ask what was on the camera. So they said that the video showed the fire door closing, but then the video froze for about an hour. The next thing it records is me reopening the door. 
Next up we have Sun's Ghost. In 2019, a woman named Jennifer Hodge received an alert on her phone from her Nest Cam, which detects movement and sound. Reading, take a look, your entryway camera spotted a person. She'd been watching TV with her daughter and was about to fall asleep when she got this notification. They looked at the image and it showed what looked to be a ghostly figure standing in their kitchen. Her daughter immediately said, Mom, look, it, it looks like Robbie. Robbie was her brother and Jennifer's son who had passed away two years earlier. But they both agreed that the figure in the photo captured by the camera did look exactly like Robbie. They immediately ran to the kitchen, but there was nobody there and no signs of forced entry either. Hodge described feeling comforted by the situation though, saying, I felt like he was letting me know he's happy in heaven. Number three, the bike. This is another story posted to Reddit by user TJS252 who wrote the following. I used to have an apartment pretty close to my office. The office building was kind of on its own relative to the city's commercial district. I sold the apartment and before moving into my new home, I left my bicycle chained to the building's bike rack. It was only to be there for a few days and that no man's land before I was able to move it into my new place. Anyway, one day in the middle of the week, I come into the office, walk past the bike rack and notice it's completely empty. The building has a bunch of security cameras and one more or less is facing the bike rack. I sit and watch the security tape with the IT guy. We're watching, see everyone leave the office the night before, see the bike, keep watching, then all of a sudden, Poof, bike gone. We slowed the tape down and it seemed like when you're watching a digital cable or satellite and the image gets garbled, literally it was bike there, then poof, gone. In the tape's timestamp, it literally happened in one second. I assume my bike got taken down to the upside down. Coming at number two, we have the ghost attack. Here we see a security camera footage that looks to be coming from an office or apartment building. We see this guy walking down the hallway when all of a sudden something sends him flying back to the floor. You can see a very obvious dark shadowy shape appear which then begins dragging the dude down the hallway by the leg. Luckily it doesn't drag him very far before disappearing though and the man, now free from the mysterious entity's grasp, stumbles to his feet and starts booking it back the way he came. Whatever uh, friend he was seeing, appointment he had booked, whatever it was, it wasn't happening that day. Being violently dragged down a hallway by a shadowy entity kind of has a way of disrupting your, your plans for the day, I reckon. Now as to whether this video is real or not, let me know what you think. I think it's a well done video, but um, yeah, I'm just not sold on the whole ghost thing yet. I want to be though. And finally, we have the nursing home specter. A security guard named Jay Brown was working the night shift at a nursing home in Chicago when he spotted some sort of ghostly figure floating past the front desk. In this video, he's watching back at the security camera footage as he films, talking about what he saw. If you look closely at the footage, you actually see some sort of misty shape floating around in the corner. You watch as Brown stands up, confused and terrified as to what he's witnessing. At one point, even throws a book at the ghostly mass, but then he decides to just take a deep breath, calm down, and uh, get on with his shift. You know, stuff happens at work. Rude patience, long hours, sometimes there's a ghost in the corner, you gotta whip a book at and then just get on with your day. Brown stated that whatever the strange entity is, it seems to show up every few months. Mm -hmm.